military affairs advisor, the late General George S. Patton, Jr. At ease, as you were. Bugler, sir, sound off. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> That'll be enough. Fine rendition, son. We sound taps today, people, for the simple reason we are dead. <laughs> James Carville declared this struggle to be war, as you recall. Well, I have terrible news from the front. The war is over. We lost. We got our backsides handed to us, boys. Annihilated. The winner is now on a victory lap in Africa, of all places, where I met that magnificent bastard Rommel in another war of another day many years ago. But believe me, defeating the forces of Erwin Rommel was child's play compared to the adversaries we were confronted by today. Rahm Emanuel, Paul Begala, Carvel, of course, and the leaker Lewis, Sidney Swamp Thing Blumenthal, and all the rest of the dissembling brigade of prevaricators under the command of water buffalo Robert Bennett. We were outgunned, outmanned, outthought, and out of our f***ing minds to think we were looking at another Watergate when what we were really seeing was our own Waterloo, for Christ's sakes. So I appear before you people today, before I surrender my sword to the president's personal representative, Eleanor Clift, <laughs> to offer you my apology. Uh. Only the second time I have apologized during my long career of leading you people, since I had to slap that crybaby sissy boy 50 odd years ago. I am sorry. I had deluded myself into thinking that surely, given Flowers, Jennifer, Jones, Paula, Browning, Dolly, Lewinsky, Monica, and Willie Kathleen, that we would have had the fat bastard right where we wanted him. I was wrong. We have lost the people and the struggle. I leave you then an old soldier with one question and one observation. Observation, James Carville was wrong. Rather than Paula Jones, what you get when you drag a $100 bill through a trailer park, I'm afraid, is the 42nd president of the United States. When William Jefferson Clinton finally moves back to Arkansas, Will Megan's law apply? <laughs> Thank you for your attention. That is all. This weekend, 